There we go. What's happening, everybody? It's just me. I want to make a few statements, or actually a few questions, to a gentleman named James Woolery. Now, for those who don't know, do not know, James Woolery is the former friend of Tommy and C. Twenty Ten. Those two used to be close buddies back in the day. I guess so up until about uh, somewhere in uh, 2017 when during that whole uh, scandal about involving Tommy or you know, subbing to these uh, gay channels, you know, it was br brought up a few times on Joe Cronin's Monetize This, particularly uh, episode 136. Apparently, uh, according to Tommy, he gave Woolery his password to go on his computer for stuff, which was a big mistake. You don't give anybody your password to your um, computer or email or anything like that, because God knows they could probably order something offline and have they could bill you for it. You get the bill while they get the prize, they get the product without paying for out of their pocket. The only person who will let me allow on their computer is um, my sister. I borrow hers time and time to do some um, either add or some uh, delete stuff on this phone here or my, my MP3s. And the reason why she gives me access, other than my nephew and or her husband, my brother-in-law, is because we're both, all of us are honest. We don't do some stupid shit on her computer and leave them there. God knows well, what kind of um, verbal abuse we would get for doing that. Now, back to the story. James Wilder has also been, uh, was brought into question over that situation. You know, this, the gay porn channels on YouTube. Well, not necessarily porn, but it represents, you know, the gay lifestyle, basically. Like, you know, all these crazy names. We know there's probably those channels don't really exist. We know that. But, you know, Woolery was, um, he basically had the finger pointed at him for doing that. And according to Tommy, that very episode, um, it was a Woolery who, uh, according to Tommy, forced him into doing the, what was the gummy bear challenge, which was basically eat as much gummy bears as you can. Tommy eventually um, started, basically threw up. I saw that, I saw a clip of that on another episode of Monetize this, a couple of months before that. And, uh, which by the way, after seeing that, I had no choice but to bring out my Bible for that obvious reason. I think it was um, episode uh, 127, I think it was, yeah. Basically, uh, Tommy claimed that, that James Woolley forced him into doing that gummy bear challenge, which I don't buy. Nobody forces you to do something like that. James Woolley is not a cop. He's not a prosecutor. He's not a lawyer forcing you to come out to, to abide to a plea deal or something like that. I think Tommy Owen went along. Uh, they probably planned this whole thing together. I didn't expect Tommy to upchuck like he did. I guess, uh, of course, Tommy blaming somebody else for his, for his shit. Playing the victim as always. But the real thing I want to ask Mr. Woolery... There's two things. This past monetize, this no, excuse me. This past Insomniac on Famas Network, a couple of days before Tommy's birthday. He's 29, by the way. Happy birthday to you, dude. James Worley calls in at the same time Scott McKinnon does, and um, basically. Tommy didn't want to talk to neither one of them. 
but his most, his, most of his beef is with James Wooler, claiming now Woolery broke Tommy's trust or stabbed him in the back on a couple of things, one or two, whichever. I'm not too sure what the full details on that. Woolery was uh, talking about saying, you know, Tommy needs to be truthful about something, a particular night at a uh, certain place or special place. Now, if I was Ken, if I was Joe, JB, or Aunt Leah, or anybody else, I would start straight up ask, what special place are you speaking of, James? Is it a strip club? Because you mentioned about that on one ep another episode of Monetizes where you called in. Of course, Tommy denied that. You claim that Tommy's supposed to have this uh, holier-than-thou, martyr, um, goody-goody, Mr. Rogers wannabe at its approach, or this persona. Dude who claims he doesn't jerk off, but we hardly um, believe that. So we would like to know what kind of um, special place that Tommy needs to be truthful about. If it's not concerning to that special place, it needs to be something about else. We would like to know, Mr. Woolery. Now, there's another thing. And I need to say this to Mr. Woolery as well. He said something that, like, uh, that left me wondering, what the hell? He stated that uh, do you have any alcohol? No, no, Tommy. Tommy's like, no, no alcohol. Good. You should, should not have alcohol. Not supposed to have alcohol. Wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ken stated that Tommy's a grown ass man. He should, you know, have a drink once in a while. He should have a little brew here and there. Just don't get yourself too fucking sloshed. As simple as that. Because that has happened before. I called in on another episode of Monetize This. And so Tommy said, oh, not this guy. Come on, dude. Tommy, and I'm going to go to the back for Tommy. Tommy is a grown man. He's one year close to reaching the big 3-0. He's entitled to have what, how much booze he can have. As long as it's in the confines of his home. And he's not driving. Well, of course he doesn't have a license. Which, by the way, I think he should get himself a driver's license. So he don't have to depend on everybody else for a ride. I had a license for I still have my license from Michigan. I still have my license here from Texas. I'm able to drive. If I go out to some place, you know, um, and have a beer, I'm just going to have just one or two and then wait a while until um, the buzz wears off and then drive back. I sometimes, well, excuse me, I don't even drink when I go out. Sometimes I don't even um, just have just regular Coca-Cola somewhere. Just know when to say when. You know, if Tommy gets gets shit face wasted and breaks his uh, stuff there, that's on him. It was his choice to get uh, shit face wasted. So for you to say that I should, um, well, no, Tommy should not be uh, allowed to drink. Tommy should, uh, suck. dude, you're not Tommy's legal guardian. You're not his uh, parent. Okay? If you're concerned about Tommy's drinking, then say, hey, if I don't mind, uh, just don't get, if you have a booze, uh, you have a little booze here and there, just don't get too fucked up. And if we do get fucked up, like I mentioned, make sure it's in your own home. Or if it's in a bar, make sure you have an Uber or a taxi, or better yet, 
when I was living in Richmond, Michigan, I would go to this place called JJ Nats. Great place, by the way, I recommend. Whenever I would get the old wasted or buzz over there, I would go across the street, give me some hostess uh, cupcakes, some uh, barbecue pork rinds, or a couple other snacks, something to drink, eat that on the way out as I walked home, even in the freezing cold weather or a steamy summer. I wouldn't not get behind a car. Besides, well, plus, I didn't have a car at that time, so it didn't really matter. But at least I play it safe. Give me credit for that. I would suggest Ken or Joe in DM in James Woolery getting him on either um, Thursday Night Throwdown or Fama Sasamiak, whichever those two, or the next monetize this, and having the James Woolery explain everything. Explain this, you know, special place being truthful and um, why he feels Tommy should not booze it up. You know, we would like to know ourselves. The main question I want to know is, I know it's uh, an old chestnut of a story, but did he really force Tommy to do that gummy bear challenge? We like to know. But if not, well, Ken, like I said, Tommy's playing the victim again. Okay? That's all I'm going to say for right now. Alright? By the way, if James Woolley uh, sees this video clip and decides to e DM me either on Twitter or on Facebook, you feel free to. You know? I'm not going to hate on you. You know? i like to know myself what you were speaking of. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below. You cats have a good one. Bye-bye.